Hey man, I'm Bronson and I want to talk about the Collector Center that was recently added on the Flesh and Blood website. Now, it is currently November 7th, 2020. This was released around November 3rd, November 2nd. We're not really quite sure when this was released on the website. There was no announcement. It just appeared out of thin air like a little miracle popping into the universe. <laughs> now, I, I just want to make this video as kind of like a, you know, my thoughts and, and what it is and why it's important first, and then I'll, I'll ramble on and give you a bunch of my crazy thoughts. Now, um, to wrap up in the beginning, what is this? This is a little page on the Flesh and Blood website that basically says, hey, this is the print run of all of our sets and, and here is where we're going to have a, a compendium of all of our products that we've ever made and here's the print run next to each. Now, little caveat is they didn't add all the print runs for everything. They did it for a couple of their products and you can definitely see that the rest are to be announced. It's going to happen in the future. So the main two that I can go to is the hero decks for the alpha run. Uh, it originally told you the print size. I think it said the total amount of cards, but people were getting a little confused, I guess. So they wrapped it up and said, hey, there's 10,000 of each hero deck. That, you know, end of story. So, you know, that's that's pretty cool information. That's really good information to have. For the public in my opinion if you're buying into this product on the secondary market and then the other big one is the ira starter deck the welcome deck you can see that there are 45,000 that were ever made and uh yeah i mean and it looks like there's a second run that's going to be in december 2020 i mean uh, it is what it is and we, we don't know how big that second run is yet but you know to wrap up they they really are projecting to the public that hey we stand behind our products we stand behind collectability we want to show you guys and I, we want you to have confidence that these products are collectible now the big thing so far for the current two products that we see on the site is that sealed product is going to be important so you see 45,000 decks of the Ira Starter deck, and you had 10,000 of each Hero Starter deck for Welcome to Wrath. You don't know how many are still sealed. And that's the big question, is how many were left sealed versus unsealed. There's always going to be a huge premium for those sealed products. We, we don't know what that premium is, but I'm going to tell you guys. I mean, that that's obvious. I know I'm not giving you, like, crazy news, but that that's the big takeaway here is that the current products that they've released, the print runs for how many really are in that sealed form and that really kind of makes it more collectible now i think that this is beautiful <laughs> i think that th this is this is a huge step for this company like legend story studios i mean they're really they're really putting their foot down they're saying hey you know we stand by our product this is what we're doing we think it's important and we think it's important for you as, you know, purchasers of our product to know that this is a collectible thing. The supply isn't like printed to oblivion. We're not going to overprint all this stuff in the future because people are buying a lot on eBay and they see, oh, uh, what is it? Iris starter decks are now $30 on eBay. Ooh, we could make, you know, $5 million if we print out like 100,000 new starter decks and <laughs> they're not doing that, which is good. But you can also see that they do want more people to have their starter decks and actually play the game because that's what the starter decks for is actually playing the game. It's called starter decks. <laughs> you can start, <laughs> you know, it's not like the IRA collectability deck, <laughs> but to wrap up that point is you can see that there's a second print run coming down. We don't know how large that print run will be. I, in my opinion, I, I think it's going to be pretty big. I mean, if you think about a welcome deck, you want to welcome a lot of people. You don't want to just like, you know, have a deck that's just for like people who want to collect, man. And I, I just feel like overall, I'm really excited. And I know there's a lot of people who were like, well, like, they did this, but they didn't release the, the print run for the alpha set. So if I go back to the Welcome to Wrath page, you see that there's a uh, TBA for the uh, alpha edition booster box for how many cards there are. And guys, you have, to, you have to realize that Flesh and Blood is going through a transitional period in 2020. 
in, in the in the tail end of 2020. We're currently going into the unlimited set of Welcome to Wrath, right? And Flesh and Blood is really trying to be more player focused and transition to those types of cards to the unlimited cards so people can actually play the damn game so they don't want to have an announcement for this yet and say hey uh <laughs> look at how low the supply is for this or, or here is the exact supply for the alpha print and have money flow that way no they want money to flow in the direction of the unlimited product at this time so people can actually play the game but they're also want to convey that you know, they stand behind the collectability of the product. They're not going to print all this stuff because if they didn't release something like this, the, the level of confidence for this product, I feel like they thought that, you know, if, if the Flesh and Blood was a plane, that it was going to stall out and people would be like, eh, you know, I, I, I don't know about this. So, all in all, I think the execution was, about this was great. I think that they might have been able to communicate it on some level uh, other than just releasing it and really not announcing it and they're probably going to have an announcement in the future for this i i, I know that i i love i love to comment i love to comment and i made a youtube channel commenting about flesh and blood but i can tell you this is sometimes you just kind of have to admit that you know i'm not the smartest guy in the world the F flesh and blood you know legend story studios they know what they're doing they're smart you know this is a good idea overall i i can tell you that much this is over overall a really good thing now, if you've listened this far in the video, there's something that's really big about this announcement, about the Collector Center in gener general, that people are just going to miss. They're going to they're gonna read right over. They're not going to care. They're, they're not going to think into it. But I'm, I'm going to read it, this little sentence because it's really important. And, and if you don't read this, then you really kind of miss out on the point. So, the Collector Center, the blurb, it says, Flesh and Blood strives to honor the timeless tradition of of collecting worth worthy specimens of human craftsmanship. We want players who invest in building their collections to be proud to own something of value. We want to create a product that delights collectors of TCGs. We have created the Collector Center as the ultimate checklist and source of truth for collectors. Now, the bottom sentence right there, the source of truth, that's them saying, hey, we want to be transparent. We want to disclose everything. We want you guys to know what we're doing and what we have done. This is full transparency, and that is great. But man, the, the first sentence really really hits me home, man. It really hits me hard in, in, in the feel zone, in my heart section. Now, you, you see it says, Collecting worthy specimens of human craftsmanship. Holy shit, man, that's deep. That means that, man, you can really feel that they put a lot of heart and soul into their game. You know, they put a lot of time. There's a lot of, you know, hours put into this. A lot a lot of things that had to be sacrificed by the Legend Story Studios team and, and the people working on this project. This is a passion project for them. And when they say, you know, strives to honor the timeless tradition of collecting and you know, they respect that and they, they say, hey, look, we made something we're proud of. We crafted this with our hands and we're really proud of this thing and we want it to be special to you guys along with us. They, they, they notice that people, you know, they, they like special things that, that are, are limited in this world and physical, that they understand that concept. And I know there's a deep concept that I'm trying to understand fully on that, but they also really are just proud of what they made. They made something that they're proud about. And I feel like that is really going to be missed on this whole collector center thing. This is going to be like, oh, this is the... This is a, you know, Fidelity Investments uh, <laughs> website thing. No, the, no, it shouldn't be looked at that. It This is them saying to you guys, like, they are proud of what they made. They think it is worthy enough to be collected since it's so beautiful and since they, you know, put a lot of work into it. And they want to be fully transparent and disclose everything they've done. And just thinking about it more and... <laughs> I, I, I know this is towards the end of the video when and a lot of people don't listen to me that much at the end, but I want to say that, you know, if you've watched a couple of my other stuff, there's a video I made <laughs> very recently, 
three days before this broke, and I literally said, I want Legend Story Studios to be more transparent, and I want them to have more disclosures, and <laughs> three days later, I see they come up with this, you know, collector center, and they're talking about Source of Truth being transparent and disclosure, and I literally said on that video that I made before that I think if they just had one big-ass, you know, list of cards, and, and you have, you know, this is collectible, this is not, and I even said, like, hey, maybe even releasing the print runs I, I don't know if that would be too much or too little but you know it's something they could do to add transparency to their game and you know honestly i think it's just dumb luck that i said that and then they released this whole collector center i do not think that you know they they listened to what i said and then did something about you know they've had they've had this in the works in a long time and in that video i i said multiple times and i stand by this is the people at legend story studios are very smart they think about things they, they know they understand what they're doing here you know I, i'm just commentating and you know I was, I was lucky to say that at a certain time but you know this is a really big deal this is an extremely big deal because if you think about any other tcgs out there they do not release their print runs they are super secretive about that stuff they do not want to you know recognize the secondary market they don't want to do any of that stuff because it gets them into a lot of, you know, a, a lot of different things that don't really revolve around the game that they think about. But this is great long term. Legend Story Studios, in my mind, is doing something revolutionary here. They're they're setting, they're setting, you know, the groundwork for all of their game, right? And then everything that goes from here on out is going to be built on that solid foundation. And I really think that it's a really smart play long term, but uh, I I don't I don't want to be <laughs> negative, but I I do also feel that this is a huge direction, and there are things that I I do want to talk about that I'm you know not gonna say at this time, but I I do think that there is different obstacles and different things that they have to address if they're going down this route but i truly believe and and how i feel is i really i really love this this is probably the best news I, i've read probably ever you know i i'm so happy to see that they're going down this direction and they're they're not like turning back and and they're not like disrespecting the collectability of their game they're they're saying look we're proud of what we made. We think that you should really love to collect it as much as you know we love to make it. And here's all the information you need to know about these products, being very transparent, disclosing the information on you know how special these are because uh, yeah, it, it's a really cool thing. And yeah, just to wrap it up, I'm I'm really excited for the game, and this is really going to. <sighs> This is a precedent. They are basically saying that they are going to release print run numbers in the future. They say TBA for the, the Alpha Edition, Welcome to Wrath. And, and I'll probably make a, a video once that uh, releases too. But overall, I can say that I'm, I'm very impressed. I, I'm extremely impressed and extremely happy that this is going down. <laughs> and I, 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 uh, I'm really looking forward to the future. Thanks, guys, for watching. Have a good one.